Hello all, I'm Mithun Kolokia from Infium Labs. So a lot of time customers are asking us how they can host their purchase products on subdomain. So today in this video we are going to cover how you can host your application on subdomain with cPanel. So a lot of time what happens that you have some main website running uh, on your main domain. For example, we have our main website running on infium.com. So now when I purchase a product, for example, say chat, then I want to host that Laravel application on chat.infium.com. So how I can do that? So let's see it together. So first of all, I already have my login to cPanel. And from there, what I will do, I will find the option called subdomains. So if you see this option uh, over here that it calls subdomain. So I'll click on that. You see that I have already created a lot of subdomains. So I will create one this domain, say my taste domain. And based on that, automatically one folder will be created for this particular domain's document root, just like we get public underscore HTML for our root domain. We can also get the same folder for our subdomain. So what I will do, I will just hit create. And yeah, our subdomain has been created. Let's click go back. And if you click directly on this path, it will open the file manager. So as you see, right now we don't have any folder or file over here. So let's try to delete this default folder. Let me skip trash. Uh, let me create a file called index.html. First, we'll see index.html. Then I will see, I will show you the problems and troubleshooting of how you can get PHP running on this subdomain as well. So let's try to edit it and put some HTML code in that. Let's try head title my demo subdomain. And then let's say body and into that try hello there. Let's hit save. And now let's try our subdomain. So one thing to mention if you are using uh, your hosting and your DNS with the same cPanel, it should just run. But if you are using any other DNS provider other than, you know, your cPanel, then you need to update the host entry over there. In our case, we'll just skip that part at the moment. And now let me try index.html. And you see that it is working. So now our subdomain has been created and whatever files I will put over here that will just run like a main subdomain. Now let's try to delete this index.html and try to put index.php. So this is a common problem that a lot of people or a lot of developers are facing while you know using it with PHP. I will just show that. So over here I am writing PHP and then say let's again hello there. Okay, now I will save this file. And now if I go over here and if I write PHP, you see that instead of showing the page, file has been downloaded. That means like my PHP code has not been executed. And the reason behind that is we have created this subdomain, but we haven't told our cPanel or our web server that, you know, which PHP version we need to use or otherwise, you know, this PHP file should be used. So if you see here, we have only one PHP file, nothing more than that. So let's solve that. So for that, I will again go back to my cPanel. And yeah, on any other places where you are facing this problem, where instead of execution of PHP, uh, your main file has been downloaded. That means that, you know, you need to configure your PHP version with your uh, whatever web server you are using. So what I will do, I will find another option called multi PHP manager. So I'll open this multi PHP manager. And over there, I will find my domain. So our domain name is my test domain. I will select this. I will choose say PHP 7.4 and I will hit apply. So now, uh, if I again do a refresh, let me try. And if I see 
PHP 7.4 has been assigned. And now if I go back to my folder, you see this htaccess file has been deleted. Now let's see what it has. And if you'll see that it will say like do not add it because this has been placed by cPanel generated handle. Right, so it is actually saying that you know add a handler x httpd that means apache to dot php files or dot php 7 files or dot php html files so whenever these kind of files are there it will actually execute the php code now let's try once again so you see hello there now it is working and one more thing if you have done those changes and if you are still facing the same problem i will suggest that you do inspect element then go to network tab then do disable cache once you do disable cache and then if you refresh it again it should hopefully work because sometimes browser cache the response so instead of actually executing a file it will always retain you the downloaded file so whenever you do disable cache or if you try incognito window or some other browser then it will work so yeah that is how like you can um you know host your application on any subdomain so you don't need to you know disturb your main domain and then just host application on subdomain yep thank you for watching